Ekiti State Governor Biodun Oyebanji has expressed satisfaction with giant strides made by the state since it was created as a political entity 28 years ago, addressing the people of the state in a broadcast to mark the 28th anniversary of the creation of Ekiti State and the 64th anniversary of the nation's independence. Governor Oyebanji hailed President Bola Tinubu for his unflinching support for Ekiti development since coming to power on 29th of May 2023. Governor Yebanji said Akiti is grateful for President Tinubu's numerous interventions and approval of critical federal infrastructure in the state. Some Nigerians also spoke on the independence celebration. Meanwhile, some residents of Akiti state commend the president on the youth confab, while others said Nigeria politics should or need to be adjusted. We are very proud to say Akiti is a frontline in education, life expectancy, access to quality health care services, physical infrastructure development, access to water, peaceful coexistence, ease of doing business, gender equality, social inclusion, among others. Gradually and assuredly, it is building a formidable profile of a progressive and development-oriented state that is poised for prosperity for all. This is a speech of the president where he said, they will assemble youths across the country for a comfort to come and see dialogue and discuss the way forward in this country. It's better than protest, better than agitating for something that is not even worthy of doing so. A lot of people will lose their life, will go into protest, but whatever you have in mind, you want him to do. All of us, you come together. Let us put our brains together and address issue. I know he's a listening president. They were begging our people to travel then. When you have your ID card, when you have your ID card, what are you saying in your working place? It's enough for you as a passport to travel out of this country. Because our money as our then was okay. But today, thousands of our youths are dying on the desert because this place is no more okay for them. They were looking for green pasture. Our democracy has led to what you call neo-colonialism. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.